Welcome back to PSC Stack Byte. Today we keep on talking about the Azure Cognitive Search Service, which is nothing more than a search service offered on the cloud by Microsoft, which allows us to make full text search on uh, various uh, flavors of content, uh, and which can be enriched using artificial intelligence to improve the quality of the search indexing. I covered the general understanding of the Azure Cognitive Search Service in my previous episode, the number 163, if you want to dig into it. Now, today we are going to talk about how to use uh, the Azure Cognitive Search to make search queries using either the REST APIs or the SDK. And specifically, we have an SDK for .NET Core, which is azure.search.documents as the name of the new GET package. And you can use it through the search client and search option types to create and execute search queries. You can actually use the same SDK also to configure new data sources, new indexes and indexers and stuff like that. But now let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to search content and documents using the SDK. So here we are in the management console of the Azure Cognitive Search on the Azure portal. And just as a reminder, last week we created an index called Azure Blob Index, which will simply collect content from an Azure Blob storage account. And specifically in the field section of the index, we define the set of fields which are retrievable, some other which are filterable, and so on and so forth. So if I want to use and to search this index using .NET Core, I can simply switch to a sample application like this one, where I referenced in the dependencies the package for azure.search.documents, and using the search client type available in the azure.search.documents namespace, I created it providing the endpoint of my search service instance. I provide the index name that I want to use for searches, and I need to provide a key, which I can retrieve from the UI of Azure if I go under the keys section right here. And once I've done that, I can create a search options type instance, and I can configure it in order to define the query that I want to execute. For example, I can select the field that I want to retrieve, and of course, they have to be the field configured as retrievable in the configuration of the index. I can eventually include the total count of items uh, uh, matching the result criteria. I can do paging, so I can, for example, get the very first five items, sorry, the very first 10 items, skipping the very first five. I can search using the order by close if I have a sortable field. I can use the filter with all data syntax if I want to specify a particular query. Or I can just search for text like I'm doing right here. And I can use the search or search async method of the search client object, providing the search text and the search options. And as you can see, we can also get back a fully typed result. So here, for example, I define a type with the properties that I want to retrieve from the search index. And once you search, you get back a search result object, which will give us the total count of items retrieved, as well as we can get the results asynchronously, and we can browse all of the documents in the result and the type properties of those documents. We can also play with the results type, and in the value property, we can also see what the coverage is of the search index, what the facets are, if any, and stuff like that. So, quite convenient and powerful interface to query and to search content in the index. If I will run with Ctrl F5 this application, here it is the console application that I'm running. And here you can see the result, total number of results 11. I just get the very uh, first item because I'm skipping the very first five. And I can see the items and the score in the search index for the retrieved items. Really simple, convenient, and powerful. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.